This is a video answer key for the magnetic force and right hand rule number two practice. I'm mostly going to show you how I hold my right hand to determine the answers to these questions. So first, just a review of the right hand rule. The big idea is that um, electric current or the direction that a particle is moving, when it is moving perpendicular to a magnetic field, it will experience a force that's perpendicular to both of them. The three of them form like the corner of a cube. And so um, you can visualize these three perpendicular directions by using your right hand and putting one of them in the direction of your four fingers, one of them in the direction of your thumb, and then the third direction points out of your palm. So those things are, those things are happening at right angles to each other. Um, by the way, some people also teach the right hand rule uh, like this, where this um, is ob obviously pointing up, this is pointing out, and then they just turn the middle finger in the direction of the, of the, third, um, the third vector. So, number one, first I hold my four fingers in the direction of the, of the magnetic field, which is up. Then I push my thumb in the direction of the velocity of the particles. These are uh, particles in a bird's brain, I believe. And so when I do that, I hold my hand like this, and therefore my palm is pointing into the page. I'm slapping into the page and so I draw an X to say that the force on the bird will be in this direction. So in real life what that would be like is um, here I've got a magnet. This magnet will be shooting magnetic field lines up on the page in those four arrows upward. Here's my particle that's coming by. I have a grape. My particle is coming in. It, when it hits these magnetic field lines it's going to deflect and it's going to deflect down this way. It's going to cause it to curve. So that means that particle is going to move this way as it experiences the, those magnetic field lines. Number two, um, these X's means that there's a magnetic field going into the page this way. So I hold my four fingers into the page. The particle velocity is down. So while my fingers are into the page, I point my thumb down. And that means my slap is to the right. So thumb down, four fingers into the page, palm is slapping to the right. Number three, now I've got magnetic field lines pointing to the right. So I point my four fingers that way. Um, then it says, if the particle feels a force directed out of the page, so now I'm gonna take my palm, which always tells me the direction of the force, and I'm gonna point it out of the page. But then I've got a, a, sometimes it's cool to rotate the page. I'm gonna go this way, okay? Magnetic field lines are this way. The force is out of the page, and so my thumb points that way. So I've got particle velocity going down. And um, I mislabeled that. That should be a V for par particle velocity going down. Number four, magnetic field lines are pointing down and to the left, so I'm going to go this way. My, uh, the shark is going down and to the right, so that's the velocity of the particle this way. And so to do both at the same time, I hold my hand like this. And then my slap is into the page, so that's the force going into the page. Finally, this one's drawn in 3D, so it's a little bit tricky. I'm going to start with um, the direction of particle velocity, right? The particles in this case are the flow of current, so it's this way with my thumb. And then the magnetic field always goes from north to south, so that's downward, so I need to take these four fingers and point them down. So these fingers are, are down, and I'm going to turn the page. These fingers are down while my thumb is this way, and so my slap is into the back of the magnet. This is the trickiest one. I probably will not give you a 3D drawing like that on a quiz because it's just the hardest to visualize. Hope this helps.